welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna be starting by wiping off the lens because I've had complaints about this so there you are nice and clean do you feel clean well I don't know it might be me that now is clean today it's really shitty weather outside it's the rain is on and off like a switch then it rains then it doesn't and well therefore I'm inside and I'm playing with servers and computers and stuff like that so let's go to the table and see what I'm up to I brought this graphics card with me to my apartment and tested it out and it did not work then I thought that I would come up here and do a video where I would try to get it to work again but I ran into a little problem and that is that the graphics card suddenly works again but it turned out that the graphics card work any works anyway and if you don't know this little trick I have connected it with a power supply and there is a little thing on the motherboard down here where you can short circuit two connections and it really helps if you turn on the power supply and the computer starts and the screen is on and it's already complaining that there is no operating system and uh, well it's correct about that there is no operating system I just needed to see the, the graphics card turn up a picture and it is turning up a picture you can just go around the cable goes from the graphics card and into the monitor what I really want to do is to put that graphics card over in this server not actually this server but server just like this and down here is the PCI Express power plug let's get some light on that it's a six pin connection and I've been I've been searching the internet for cables for this and they're really hard to come by I have ordered some some things that I hope will turn up and I might be making one and I might be getting some that is already completely done and okay and all of that jazz so but right now I want to make one and I have two cables here and they are really there are cables that go from these old hard disk plug things and to the PCI Express graphics card cable. and I did some investigation on the internet that's usually where people do that and I do too and I found out that um, the bottom line here is common ground and the top line is all 12 volts and that couldn't be much easier so uh, what I really need to do is just have 12 volt in these three pins and common or zero in these pins and then I just need to make a plug that goes through like that so more or less I have to connect the yellow cables and the black cables together and well that's really doable I think I think even I can manage that but to be perfectly sure I want to uh, power up this IBM server and measure what comes out of the pins and I found I, found, I had this little cute multimeter it's like a pocket size one and I found this at work I uh, it's mine but I brought it to work at some point because I needed a, a, a little multimeter and it has been sitting there for years and I forgot it was there so I brought it it has come home so now I'm gonna power on the server and measure what comes out of those cables I think I mentioned in another video that IBM servers blinks really fast when you just connect power to them and this time the camera was in reach so you can see it's blinking very fast so right now it's not I'm not able to turn it on until it starts blinking slowly okay this really took a while I don't know what it was doing but now it's blinking slowly and now I should be able to turn it on 
And this is what one IBM server sounds like. I had had a lot of uh, comments about if uh, people should get one of these servers to play with and have them in like their room. And the short answer, if you can stand this, sure, I wouldn't do it, but if you like this sound, go right ahead. Well, let's see, can we see the numbers? We really can't. 12 volts on those two pins. Twelve volts and twelve volts. Cool. There is no magic there at all. I think we'll just I'll just plug in one of the cables. And I'll just measure to be sure that they haven't switch places or anything funny like that. Let's put that one in there. That one in there. And it's 12 volts. And that is 12 volts. I think that's that's about it. That should be really easy to make a cable that will that will supply the 12 okay, volts. Right now I'm just I'm trying to measure out how if I'm able to have the cable go in to the graphics card if it's over there. So I'm trying to find out about that. And I think the answer is no. So the graphics card has to be here for this length of cable. So here we have this cable on the operating table and I'm gonna try and see if I can get these out. Well, I can't really seem to find any way to get anything in there and dismantle this and I don't want to break it so I will go the hard way and I will solder the, solder the whole thing together. So I'm going to cut these cables. And then just solder this together. Black to black and yellow to yellow. I'm cutting out some pieces of heat shrink. Find a bigger piece of heat shrink that can fit all the cables so that Well, that could be a lot worth, so now I can turn off the soldering okay. gun. Found my good old heat gun. Mm. This is one of the buys that I did way back and uh, it was on a, it was cheap, like on a, on a good offer. And I had it laying around for years and years and years without using it for anything. And then suddenly I'm using it all the time. Now they're individually heat shrink and I'm just gonna put this big piece of heat shrink over that. And here I have apparently this is a female female connector from what I could see on the internet. 
And before I do anything stupid like blowing up a server, I'll just do some testing and make sure that this is not short circuited. Okay, this should be good. I have to turn off this multimeter. It might be a nice little multimeter, but it eats it eats up the batteries if I don't turn it off. Okay, I moved into the data center and I got the graphics card here and I got the new and improved <laughs> connection here to give the graphics card the power that it needs to run in the server. So I'm gonna be putting it in this server right there, this one, the one that I was playing with last weekend. And here is a look at the slot that I had cut the end of. If you missed that video, please just go back and find it. I removed the slot, the end of the slot down here so that the graphics card will fit in there. This is an X16 and it now goes into an X8. It does stick out like that, but the graphics card work. And we'll put the power plug in. Put the graphics card back into the server. And we're gonna put the plug down there. Uh, the cable is really long enough. I'm really excited to see this. I'll put the cover back on. Uh, just if something really bad happens to the server, it's better protected with the cover on. And now I'm gonna go around the back and connect the cables. And there is not a lot of room back here. So, here are the Kind of the server. I'm just gonna plug in the power cable and see what happens. Nothing exploded yet. That's always a good thing. And uh, we're gonna put in some network cables. Number one and management. There. And there's a keyboard cable. Right there and then we have this thing and I forgot the adapter so we're gonna go get that adapter there it is and I kind of found out that the picture is um this one and my monitor Goes in like that. So, yeah, really should get some covers for it, but well, yeah. Let's get the monitor out. Turn that on. The server has already stopped blinking fast, so... We have a signal through now. And it's on the graphics card, so apparently this is working. We're gonna go into Windows and see what happens. If this is a different brand, the, the small one that I put in, in my lay... My last video was an AMD and this is an NVIDIA card. So it's probably not going to be able to find that right away.
It found the NVIDIA card. Whoa! And we have to reboot. Okay, we're up and running. Let's see what graphics card we have now. Oh, that's not it. Computer. Manage. And the old number was 4.5. Let's see the device manager. Graphics adapter. We have an NVIDIA. GeForce uh, 8800. I know this is an old one, but let's see what Windows thinks. Refresh. Let's see if we get a better number. Okay, the numbers went up. Oh, now it's us 5.9. <laughs> now it's the hard drive that's the slowest. So now the graphics card is doing 6.9, both in 2D graphics and in 3D graphics. So that's that's okay. Now the graphics card isn't the slowest thing in this computer anymore. Now it's actually the the, the drives. So that's um. That is a success. Well, that was kind of a hit. It almost went too easy. Um, now I can use that kind of graphics card in my servers as well. Uh, I haven't played around with the graphics card that has like eight pins on top of it because the server only has six pins. But as far as I can see on the drawings on the internet, those two pins are just same thing. It's 12 walls and ground. So might be able to just make a plug like that too but well it works it's very cool uh, the next video in this series is probably going to be around uh, forwarding this through VMware and having a virtual machine with these uh, with a graphics card Physi a physical graphics card attached to a virtual machine that's going to be pretty cool as well watch for that video yeah, if you haven't already joined me over at Google+, Plus, please uh, stop by and add me in your circles and circle. So uh, thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye-bye.